David Villa, Villa Mara Ilia fam, or aka El Guaje, one of the most lethal strikers I have witnessed in football, guys. This is David Villa. My first introduction to David Villa was through Pairs 2006 where me and my friends always used to use Inter Milan because of Adriano, that powerful left football, he was just too OP in that game, right? Um, and then one of my tribal friends in a throwaway comment, Taff, he said to me, um, yeah, there's a guy in Spain named David Villa who was just abs absolutely making a mockery out of the league. And for me, that just stuck with me as well because I was thinking, who is this David Villa guy? Who, like, what team does he play for? If he's outperforming such guys as Ronaldinho, Ruvan Nistoroy, Diogo Forlan, Samuel Eto. I had to do my research on this guy, right? Little did I know that I'll be starting an obsession with one of my favorite strikers of all time. So there goes 11 year old me searching up on my father's computer on Google, David Veer. I had to put a name to the face, right? I was expecting some like blonde guy, but no, it's a dude with a soul patch, deep black hair, right? And the thing is, right, like this guy had everything as a com complete striker, dude. Set pieces or free kicks. I remember one free kick he scored actually in the 2006 World Cup from, from one of the, uh, the highlights videos that I, I, I was looking at in my um, obsession uh, with uh, David Veer. Yeah, they are getting penalties, scoring a penalty against against Fabian Bartes as well in in the World Cup, like in, in 2006 too. Um, the, he was quick, agile, dribbling. Like, and the thing is, right, guys, for me, I found out what the word um, ambidextrous meant because of David Villa. When you see me going crazy about the word ambidextrous, is because of David Villa. Both left foot and right foot finishing, dude. Like that, it, that blew my mind as, as a young kid. I was like. This, he's a both for a striker. I was like, who? You know? I was going crazy, dude. I was going crazy. I love this guy so much, right? And the the thing is too, like my dad used to watch um, who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be a, a millionaire on a on a um, channel three on ITV One, right? And the final question, like, I, I literally turned around to my dad. I was like, Dad, they just have to ask like if for a million dollars, <laughs> what team does David Villa play for? And nobody we would not know of that. But David Villa again, just like an, an absolute through and through bagsman goal scorer. He was already banging in goals for teams such as Sporting Gihon and Villarreal Zaragoza. But when he started making noise, right, in the footballing world, when people started slowly paying attention to him, was in that Valencia squad, right? The talented Valencia squad. The, the, that, that team for me was like stacked with future, um, again, world-class players and current, like um, even previous uh, le legendary players, right? Players such as Santiago Canizares, Del Horno, Roberto Ayala, Carlos Mar. Chena, David Albelda, Ruben Baraja, Fernando Morientes, Vicente, Yaquin, Edu, and three up and coming once again young bowlers in Raul Abio, Juan Mate, and I'm pretty sure you guys know this guy, David Silva. That team was insane, bro. That team was actually crazy. Like for David Villa to, to actually like put a stamp on his name in that like talent stack in that talent stack team madness madness in the summer of 2010 david Villa would announce himself on the grandest stage in world football south africa 2010 world cup man like david Villa in that tournament was moving crazy he was he was a man standing on business and the thing is too he would finish one of the, the top goal scorers in that competition alongside it was like i think it was like four players that got five goals and because the, the two that i remember were thomas muller and uh, diogo forland those guys are just moving crazy and, and thomas muller then he was a really like young player i think in, in his early 20s too because I, I remember getting asked that question actually in, in school too like who was it, one of the top goal scorers but david Villa was of course one of them but the repertoire of goals right that david Villa had like in that tournament crazy crazy i think the, the the two that i remember the most right is the inside and out uh goal against uh, honduras where he went bang bang top corner finish the uh chip the left footed chip uh against um it was chile where the goalkeeper came out and he had, he had managed that to use his le left foot to to love the goalkeeper bro like the, yeah that 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 like watching that um 
uh, tournament for David Vera, bro, I was just so proud because I was like, you know, three years of research and watching this guy now, it's actually paying off, bro. And I actually wanted him, right, at Manchester United, but in that same uh, same summer, right, Im immediately after he he joined Barcelona, and once again, when you when you joined Barcelona at that time, the main man was Messi, bro. He like 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 Messi, right, like. Being a striker for Barcelona in, in that period for, for you was just like a, a death sentence from your period there, bro. I'm telling you, right, because there was guys such as Semler Etos, Latan Ibrahimovic that were there before David Villa and, they, and again, like, the relationship that uh, Ibrahimovic had with uh, 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 Pep Guardiola, like, it's just an like, outright madness right now because they don't like each other just because of that. David Villa, again, he, he did what he, he could do the most, right, in that Barcelona team because Messi was playing centre forward, so David Villa had to get moved out to the left wing, right? But it, it, the, the guy stood on business. He, he stood on business. The goals against Real Madrid. I remember like it was like to the 11 12 season where um, it was like El, I think it was like a Copa del Rey, El, El, El Clasico, right? And again, this is all from my knowledge from like Sky Sports. The guy literally got the ball, took it to the right, top corner finish, bro. Like I was this, 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 mad. Mad David Villa was just was just ridiculous. The curled goal right against Man United in the Champions League final to, to 2011 against like a uh, Edwin Van der Sar to to finish. I think I, I think we lost like three one four one that game. But it was a final goal. Just the again little touch set up curler, bro. Yeah, it just just crazy. And, and once again like playing out on the left wing, this unnatural position, and for him to. Again, just, just just bagging goals, right? But he did um, play for, for for Barcelona for like three seasons. Uh, I think it was like seventy seven games, the 30, 33 goals that he scored. The the entirety of there as well. Just playing, in, in my opinion, guys. This is just my opinion. Playing with one arm, right, tied behind his back because he's pre predominantly a striker. And again, Pep Guardiola kept on uh, kept on playing Messi in, in that uh, centre forward position. And for me, it felt like David Villa was a Barcelona for five years but it's actually three years right he would uh, go on to join Atletico Madrid and play there for one season and then move on to teams such as New York uh, City Football Club and Melbourne City on loan and then he would finish off his career um, at Vizal Kobe alongside Andres Iniesta David Villa's career, in my opinion, was short of nothing spectacular. The guy has done everything. He's won everything in football. He completed football at the highest level, guys. Won League Cups, Champions League, Euros, World Cups, man. Like, only a few certain players, right, can say that in the history of football. And for me, like, David Villa, David Villa was that guy. But, guys, that has been the video, fam. Short video for, for you guys. I, I, I figured, why not make a video, right, on one of my favorite players growing up? There's going to be more more videos like this I, I think i'm gonna do one on like guys like aiden hazard michael essie and tony cross you know because like these sorts of players for me like they they touch my heart like during football one for Ibra, one for Ibrahimovic definitely has to come out but if you guys have like have any memories of david Villa, comment down below which other players right um has literally like um, which other football players were you guys um, up obsessed with as well when you were growing up in football? Please comment down below because for me, like the the whole ambidextrous thing again, literally does come from David Villa. Just me looking at the word, I was like ambidextrous. What is that word? And then finding out that it, it, it means like both handed or like both footed. So 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 shout out to my like David Villa, bro. Oh, <laughs> the, the guys teaching me new words even though he doesn't even know who I am. But that's it, guys. But yeah, Aaron Preston waxing lyrical about man like David Villa, Villa Mara Ilia fam, El Guaje, decade, and I'm signing out. Keep it real. Peace. David Villa, alias Illa Illa Illa, Villa Maravilla, también humanat, aje, 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 el guaje.